Hello, my name is Anil Bhar and my partner is Ashutosh Srivastava. Today we will be giving presentation on, on a topic DPE, Dynamic Priority Exchange Algorithm. It is an ex uh, extension of PE and it, it is adapted to work on uh, EDF. So I will be explaining first how EDF works. Okay, so A1 uh, and B1, they both arrive at the same time at 0. The deadline of A1 is at 20 and uh, deadline of B1 is at 50. So a priority is given to A1. So A1 starts executing and, and it finishes at 10. And then B1 starts executing and uh, when it reaches 20, A2 arrives. A2 arrives at 20 but its deadline is at 40. And since its deadline is before uh, B1, it's, it interrupts B1 and it starts executing and and once it finishes b1 it starts executing again as you can see uh, a1 is start executed first from 0 to 10 then b1 uh, started from 10 to 20 and then a2 interrupted b1 and then b1 continued again and they both both finish uh, before their dead deadlines and then similarly and, and then a3 are, are arrives and then a3 starts executing and once it finishes b2 arrives and similarly uh, you can see how it goes. Hello, uh, so I will be telling you how DPE works using the EDF algorithm. So the main idea of this algorithm is as you can see over here, uh, is to use the uh, let the server trade with a runtime with the uh, with the runtime of the lower priority periods. So what is DPE? DP DP is the extension of PE server adapted to work with uh, EDF algorithms. So uh, so the algorithm goes like this way. DP has uh, server has a specified period TS and a capacity CS. Beginning of each period, a periodic capacity is set to series, which where these are deadline basically. So deadline is D. For instance, and for IS period task uh, has a R periodic capacity. Uh, we are maintaining a EDS. Which is we are which is initially zero. So a periodic capacity is uh, for task which is greater than zero receives a priority according to the, their deadlines and the EDF algorithms, uh, like all periodic tasks and instances. So they goes in the same way. Or oh, when there is a highest priority algorithm uh, in algorithm is a periodic means the highest priority of the algorithm which is a periodic one. So they, what happens where if it's a periodic algorithm, so it will execute till the time it uh, fully gets executed or the capacity goes executed um, exhausted. And if uh, there is no a periodic task, the only periodic task are there. So what happens over there? The periodic task with the shortest deadline which is the minimum over here, will be executed first and the capacity uh, of the will be, which is equal to the length of the extension is added to the a periodic capacity C. So and if there is nothing like periodic and a periodic task is it's a basically an ideal time and a capacity C is consumed until it is exhausted basically. So this is what uh, we are making. So now there is one example which we will be explaining over here. Suppose there are two uh, periodic tasks T1 and T2, whose periods are 8 and 12, and worst case execution time is 2 and 3, respectively. And there is a DPE server with uh, the period, period t is 6 and capacity is 3. So that period 6 is TS, and the capacity they were, we are, uh, as assumption is C. So now, and at the present system. So now I will explain it how it basically works in DPE server. T is equal to 0. The aperiodic capacities C. 6s whose deadline is 6, c 8s1 deadline 8 and c12s2 deadline 12 are set to 3 0 0. Since no periodic requests are pending, the first two periodic task instances, these instances of oh sorry, t1 and t2 are allowed to execute. Consecutively, the three units of capacity c6s are consumed in the first three units of time. In the same interval, two units of time are accumulated in C8S1 during the execution of T1. So, and one unit in C12S2 at the beginning of T2's first execution. At time T is equal to 3, C8S1 is the highest priority in the entity. So, again, 
टी टू इज अलाउड टू कीप एक्सिक्यूटिंग बिकॉज द हाइस्ट पॉवर दिखो बोले हम द टू यूनिट्स ऑफ सी एट एस वन आर कंज्यूम एंड एक्यूमुलेटेड इन सी ट्वेल्व एस वन इन द फॉलोइंग थ्री यूनिट्स ऑफ टाइम द प्रोसेसर इज आइडियल एंड सी ट्वेल्व एस टू इज कंजिक्यूटिवली कंज्यूम्ड नो दैट नो यू the set of value at 3 and time t is equal to c 6 means is preserved until time goes to 8 when when it becomes the highest priority and jab tak uh, means it becomes the highest priority in the, in the system ties um, is, uh, so now there is a tie among the periodic capacities uh, so it will be break, broke by fifo which is uh, means uh, fifo means first come first serve so which is come, which has came first will be served first At nine, t is equal to fourteen, and a periodic request of seven units of time enters the system. Since c eighteen s is equal to two, the first two units of time are served with deadline eighteen. The subsequent two units are served with capacity c twelve s two, that is with deadline twenty four. Finally, the last three units will also be served. With the line twenty four, because the at time t is equal to eighteen, the the server capacity c twelve s is set to three. So this is how it will, uh, this example is working on the DPL algorithm. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.